Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to do a super quick video for you. Super. My shirt says super. Um, quick video for you on tickets. I have a lot of people that ask questions about tickets. So I wanted to give you a quick breakdown of the different ticket types at Disney World. So first you have base tickets and this allows you access to one theme park per day, one Disney theme park per day. And that includes Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios. That's it. Disney Springs, um, you don't need tickets to go there. It does not give you access to either of the water parks. You can, however, also purchase tickets to the water parks at the gate. So if you get base tickets, you can get water, you can just show up at the water park and pay cash for those tickets. And depending on how many um, people you have, how many days you'll be visiting, if you have park hoppers or not, sometimes it's more um, financially responsible to pay for your tickets at the gate. And sometimes it makes sense to purchase them as part of your package. But um, if you need help with that, certainly fill out my quote request form. I would love to work with you and I can help you get through all of the logistics of that. S small plug. So the next um, ticket type are the park hoppers and park hopper tickets allow you to visit more than one Disney theme park per day. Same for theme parks, no water park access. So you can visit um, one park in the morning and a different park in the evening. You can visit all four parks in one day if you for some reason wanted to do that and had the time and energy to do it, you could do that. Um, there is no limit per day, but there still is no water park access. Um, a real benefit to this, aside from the, I've, I've talked about this many times, aside from the fact that it allows you to visit a different theme park in the evening than you visited in the morning, is if a theme park is, um, like if they have a hard ticket event in the evening, and you do not want to attend that, you can still visit that park in the morning and visit a different park in the evening. So like Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, those events require a separate ticket aside from your park ticket. So if you are only visiting the party, you only need a party ticket. You don't need a different type of ticket. But if you're visiting the parks and you have a base ticket or a park hopper or park hopper plus ticket, you still need a separate party ticket, if that makes sense. So if you're at the Magic Kingdom in the morning and they have a party in the evening and you don't have a party ticket, they kick you out when the party starts. And if you if you don't have a party ticket, they kick you out. And I mean, they're nice about it, but you know, they kick you out, they give you the boot. Um, and if you don't have a park hopper, you can't go to another park at that point. Um, if you have a park hopper, you can go to a different park. So that allows you to do that. Additionally, um, something that has come to mind recently is when parks are closed due to capacity which is something they are planning for with star wars land i was gonna say toy story land with star wars land opening at hollywood studios um if the park is closed due to capacity if you visit that park in the morning um and then go home and go to your hotel take a rest and then want to go back in the evening it is possible that the park will be closed due to capacity and then at that point, you can't visit another park because your tickets were used at Hollywood Studios. You can only go back to Hollywood Studios, but it's full. So park hoppers will give you more flexibility in that way. Lastly, our park hopper plus tickets, which again, give you access to multiple theme parks per day, but they also give you water park access. And the number of days of water park visits you get is based on the number of days of tickets you have. So I told you the three different types of tickets. Um, it's also based on it's based on the number of days you plan on visiting the parks. So if I'm going to be visiting the parks for five days, then you'll purchase five day base tickets, five day park hopper tickets, or five day park hopper plus tickets. If you get five day park hopper plus tickets, you get five entries into the water parks. And there is Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach water parks. You cannot get base tickets for some of your trip and then just say, oh, I just want park hoppers for one day. You can't do that. It's all or nothing. Um, but yeah, the park hoppers are definitely our favorite. That is what we always opt for. Um, just because we don't really visit the water parks that much. We have, they are great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but we never, ever, ever opt for base tickets. It's very rare that we visit the same park in the evening that we did in the morning. More than never, but it's not too common. 
But those are the different types of tickets at Disney World. And the cost, I should also mention, the, um, as Stacy says in her, I think it's Stacy that says it in her visit, in her, in her visit. <sighs> is it Stacy that says it in the video? Is it? Yes. Um, as Stacy says in her must do Disney, the more you play, the less it is you pay per day. I think that's how she says it. So um, if you figure out the cost, say you're getting five day base tickets or five day, part, five day tickets, you're getting five day tickets. Um, and then you figure out how much it costs per day. If you divide that cost by five, if you get seven day tickets instead and divide it by seven, the cost is going to be less. So the more days you add on your tickets, the less it is per day. So they, Disney really does make it advantageous to stay longer. So I know myself, I have, I've purchased seven day tickets before and then, um, wanted to, upgrade and I'm like oh how much more is it going to be to get eight day tickets and it was it was less than $30 for the both of us it was very very cheap um oh one more thing I keep thinking of things the last thing I want to mention on this is you can upgrade when you are there so if you purchase park hopper tickets and you decide you want park hopper plus tickets and you're already at Disney you can do that you can upgrade your tickets while you are there um, we don't recommend you do it later than the second to last day. I think you technically can do it the last day, um, but we do not recommend you do it later than the second to last day of your trip. You cannot downgrade. You can't cut back the number of days um, on your tickets and you cannot cut back from park hopper to base tickets once you are there. You can do that prior to making your final payment on your trip. Um, I'm, th I'm speaking specifically of packages where you have a hotel and tickets, possibly dining. Um, you can reduce the number of days or cut back um, in that regard prior to the day your final payment is due, 30 days prior to the start of your trip. Um, if you wait until sometime between the day you arrive and a month before your trip, you're gonna have to pay a cancellation slash change fee and it's usually negates the savings. So at that point, it's kind of a wash. Um, but yeah, you can upgrade, but not downgrade by the time you're there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, th I hope you found it helpful. It's a bit dry, but it is very helpful information that you really need to know if you're planning a Disney trip. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.